There's almost no editing in this video. If you perceive things at 0.5x speed, go to the settings and change the playback speed to 2. Minecraft is just updated to 1.21, or as you know, the Tricky Trials update. And shockingly, Fabric a couple days before the actual update released an updated version of their API. Guess what didn't have an immediate update the day of the actual 1.21 update? Optifine still hasn't released, but Sodium and Iris did, meaning if you want to play 1.21 with shaders, you're going to have to use Fabric, Sodium, and Iris. Now I'm going to admit that I'm not up to date with a lot of Minecraft mod loader drama, but there are four major mod loaders out there, and Fabric and Neoforge already have something working for 1.21 just days later after checking in. Forge, however, doesn't have something working for 1.21. When I looked up the change logs for Tricky Trials, at least for me, in a private tab when I googled this, Minecraft.wiki is now the second result, with fandom buried at the very bottom of the page when looking up the change logs. They mentioned that there's a lot of cool features that they added into the update, such as auto crafters, the trial spawners, the mace, the breeze, but they don't mention some of the most important changes in the entire update, which are the server side and client side changes. Minecraft is only bearable to play for most people when there's custom content, and I don't have an exact estimate, but I know from personal experience, more than 95% of my hours on this game is not from playing single player. It's either from a server with custom coded content or a mod pack with a ton of feature driven mods. There was something that the people who ran the Hypixel network begged from Mojang for ages, and it was something called transfer packets. Now, now there's a form thread you can find on the Hypixel website written seven years ago explaining why these are well needed. A good number of you will have no idea what this is, but when you connect to a Minecraft server, most of the time you're connecting to a Minecraft server pretending to be a server called the proxy. Bungie Quarter Velocity are the big ones that are used. Then they interface with the actual Minecraft servers and allow you to connect to whatever Minecraft server the proxy needs you to connect to, so you can jump between multiple servers without disconnecting and reconnecting. The need for transfer packets in this blog post are well explained. If you're in Europe, you'll need to connect to eu.highpixel.net, and if you're in America, either us.highpixel.net or mc.highpixel.net. In other words, without transfer packets, you cannot be routed to other Minecraft servers. It took seven years from when this original blog post was written for the server to have the ability to transfer you to another server that specifically authorizes transfers to it, and that's actually insane. Minecraft updates are a joke, not because of its lack of features, but because of its lack of optimization. Minecraft updates ruin the game because every single update bloats the game more and more, and people struggle to make custom content that actually runs well as a result of this. That's the main issue here. There are many Minecraft plugins, for example, like Mythic Mobs, where they add a skill system, and a bunch of custom mobs into the game that actually spice things up and make things entertaining. But it's so laggy in the first place, you aren't going to find a single heavily populated Minecraft server that uses it because it nukes the TPS down to 5 because Minecraft servers can't handle that many entities in the first place, and there's so many updates that those mobs have to do at the same time. If you want to go and tell me that mod packs are getting laggier and laggier despite GPUs getting better and better because people keep putting hundreds of mods in a single mod pack rather than the normal couple of dozen from a decade ago, then that would be completely understandable. But please tell me, when you look up singular Minecraft servers that had tons of content with TNT, with factions, how could they handle hundreds of servers from back almost a decade ago? CPUs and technology has supposedly gotten stronger and more efficient, but Minecraft servers and mod packs are at a plateau in regards to performance, and people's FPS keep getting nuked down to 20, and the server TPS with just a couple of modifications gets nuked down to 5. I quickly looked up complaints, and people asking questions about heavily populated servers from back in the day, and there was supposedly this faction server from a decade ago that was able to handle 800 players, and even if this is over exaggerated, 400 players at 20 TPS and less than 32 gigabytes of RAM was even possible back then? That's completely impossible today with the new version. Every single update we get more features but the game gets more bloated, and people still have to download Optifine Sodium or use a modification of the server jar to actually make Make things usable. My Minecraft server Pixel Group has gotten over to a thousand Discord members. We're getting 50 to 100 new joins per day, and as soon as we got to 30 players using Purper, we got nuked down to 10 TPS, and sometimes we have 20 TPS, but it's completely unstable. We're even using Mob Stacker here. Multi paper and foliage shouldn't have to exist to fix problems like this. And I lastly want to end off this video by saying that data packs showed up all the way back six years ago in 1.13, which may shock many of you that vanilla mods have existed for over half a decade and only just recently have data packs become relevant. But if a person wants to use shaders with a data pack, they're going to have to use Optifine or they're going to have to use Sodium and Iris. So at the end of all of this, the average person is not going to be using vanilla Minecraft. 